We're going to plant our carrots and our turnips in the bed here. Uh, we're also going to plant some scallions, um, the red Welsh onions, with our carrots in this bed as well. We keep this bed covered with this mesh and a part of the reason is because last year we had an issue with some of our onions that weren't covered. We ended up losing most of our, our leeks to a pest. So this year, in order to prevent that from happening, the plan is to keep our leeks all covered, keep all of our carrots covered. The onions that we grew with our carrots that we had covered, our spring onions, did not have an issue. They were all fine. They did not get touched by any pests but the onions that we grew separately in beds that did not have covering, they all had pest issues. The leeks, we lost our whole crop of leeks. So this year we're covering everything that is an onion except for our main onion bed, which we have looked at and it's fine. Carrots are in the ground here. Uh, it's Danvers carrot and uh, red Chantenay or Chantenay red core. It's in the ground right there and covered. The other spot that we have carrots right here. We have Danvers carrot again. Again the Chantenay red core. And we, I also put purple top uh, turnips right here in this spot. Uh, later in the year, um, in a couple of weeks, I will put more carrots down these lengths and it'll be uh, probably uh, a yellow carrot and maybe a purple carrot. At the ends here, I also put um, turnips. I forgot to say that bull or turnip or a yellow turnip and the purple top turnips are at the ends here. Now that the turnips are in and the carrots, it's time to go get the beets done. The fall root vegetables have been put into the ground and there's still a lot more to be done so that we have enough uh, crops for the fall but I think I'm done for the day with uh, planting at least I still have to harvest also Rob is working I'm gonna go check and see what Rob is over there doing the, uh, the movable Fowl containment unit. Um, Basically, you're making a chicken tractor. Okay. <laughs> well, it can hold more than chicken. Right. And I don't know why they call it a tractor. There's, there's no motor. Right? Yeah. I, I think that's what they call it. Because it moves. I don't know. Anyway, you're building now a. Now I'm fighting off mosquitoes. Yeah, I know. So you're putting together this chicken tractor. Yes. Which will contain ducks first. Mm -hmm. ducks. So it's technically a, duck, it's a, it's a foul containment unit. A foul a mobile, containment a, a mobile, mobile foul. foul containment unit. Say that again. Mobile foul containment unit. It's a mobile foul containment unit. <laughs> or MOAB. Or, I don't know. What was that? Mobile M MF C U. It's an MFCU. A mobile file containment unit. And in carpentry sometimes you use some of those acronyms as well. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's going to be kind of like triangular, although I'm, wor I'm working out my angles now. This is a 45. Looks a little too big. I so, would say so. Well, you know, you don't know. I mean, I, I didn't bring my protractor. So I'm just going to go with uh, some... Uh, ancient carpentry skills uh, <laughs> which is you cut once and then you cut it again when it doesn't fit 
Okay. That sounds like a plan. Well, you only do it once. So like I make, when I make this to fit, which I'm gonna notch the ends and make it fit right. I have a, now I have a pattern because it's all the, it's squared all the way down. I just mimic the copy on the rest of the wood. So I don't have to mess up a couple pieces of wood if I mess it up. So I didn't bring my protractor today. So I'm going to uh, use, uh, you know, the ancient way rather than use, you know, it was algebra. Okay. So how long is it going to take you to do this? Maybe two, three, four months. Or oh, maybe, maybe an hour. <laughs> I think maybe longer than an hour. That could be an hour. No, well, the fencing will be difficult, but it won't take, it shouldn't take that So long. you mean you'll get the wood part done in an hour? Yeah, a little less than an hour. And then because probably... Because I'm fighting off mosquitoes and that's, that takes yeah. a couple seconds. Why don't you move to the sun? Well, yeah, that's worse. Well, oh, okay. I think uh, uh, I'll just put some bugs spray on. Where's the lemongrass? Can we rub that on. I just, I just uprooted some lemongrass for you. Oh, it was drawing. <laughs> yes. So, I don't know if that will really mm. work. Sounds good. But uh, yeah, try rubbing that all over yourself. See if it works. If it works, we'll try to make something with it. A little, a little lemongrass brush. A lemongrass brush, and uh, and call it mosquito repellent. It works. I know they don't like it. But I like it. I like I smell like lemonade. The final count was 454 saffron bulbs and we ordered 100 bulbs, 50 bulbs two years ago, 50 bulbs last year. So not bad, not a bad uh, increase of saffron bulbs. There are about 200 that will probably flower this year and the other 250 look like they're, um, some of them will flower next year, some of them will flower the year after uh, because they're they're range from like a little bit smaller to really tiny, minuscule almost. Uh, so we'll get them all planted and in the ground. Some of them we'll get into bins and we'll see what kind of harvest we get this fall. In another week or two, once those bulbs are dried, all the dirt's dried off of them, we'll go ahead and we'll get them planted back in bins as well as around the property. And the smaller tiny bulbs, I think we'll probably just plant those in bins so that we can keep track of them. This October, November, we should be harvesting some saffron. mildew going on right here and there's just no point in continuing to try to grow them to get a second flush of peas um, you can see here where it's still growing but chances are that the flush of peas that I got the second time around would not be as large and then in addition the vines would be extremely diseased by the time I got the second flush and 
they're just taking up that space for such a small crop, for such a small harvest that I would end up getting from the second flush. I'd rather let the watermelons and the cucumbers take over the space so that they can do their maximum in production. I am going to send all of this to the chickens and the turkeys. Um, I'm not sure if they'll eat it, but we'll throw it in there in the back part of the run. Let them dig through it, see what they do with it. Mm -hmm.